movies to to communicate impossible wealth, you see something like a giant spider. Very Richie Rich style. But could you imagine? It's like even down to something like this disc is meant to be thrown away and destroyed. Yeah. yeah. Like you're never going to see it again. Yeah. It launches. The Whoever sees it is the person that loads the disc. Yeah. And the next person that sees it is the person like, ah! Gets his head cut off. at them yeah. and that's that. Why would you bother to be like imprint a spider on it? Yeah, <laughs> could you carve it in? Well, it's going to cost like, us it's gonna... <laughs> hundreds of dollars to do this. It's gonna cost Especially you a little in more. The old yeah, it's like I know, but they mean so much <laughs> yeah. to me. And you're not even involved in this transaction. You're not even like I'm holding this disc of death with my spider emblem. As it's a matter of fact, you. when yeah. he goes to kill them, he leaves. He yeah. doesn't even watch the disc <laughs> oh, no. get loaded and launched. That's how fucking rich he is, dude. He's just like put spiders on everything and kill people when I'm not here, man. I do want to point out, uh, you know, there's a part in the movie. Uh, where you know uh, Will Smith and Kenneth Braun, oh Will Smith and Kevin Klein are caught. They're going to get their heads cut off by these spider discs. And I would say one of the most disturbing parts of the movie is when was when Kenneth Brana talks about wanting to have sex with Salma Hayek with potentially his robot dick, in which I'll play for you right here. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? I might even become familiar with her myself. That'll be one more reason for me to kill you. Oh, yes, Mr. West. I'm sure to a no doubt well-endowed black and more like yourself. It must seem absolutely impossible that a freak like me could fully enjoy the pleasure of a woman. But having witnessed my use of mechanology thus far, wouldn't you think that I could devise something for the lower half of my body that was hard, pumping, and indefatigably steely? And, speaking of hard, pumping, Mr. Coleman, full steam ahead. What? Just talks about building a giant robot dildo to... That ha- do you think that was consummated by the time she was left? Because she stays with him on that train. From well, she that is point pregnant, on. visibly pregnant with a robot baby at the end, at the end of the movie. <laughs> this movie. Does, ha- she, does he use a robot wainer on her? I, well, they've got I that conception just yeah. took a jump. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know. I wish he did. And remember, it, when she's trapped in the birdcage in his house, yeah. the bed has all of those like sex contraptions. And she's like, I don't want to get on that. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Like, it is clearly yeah. just like robot cock sex <laughs> <laughs> in this movie that we never see. This Although guy, we do see, I think we see Will Smith's balls from behind at the very that's beginning. That's what I thought, too. Right? The screen. We yeah, definitely Will, saw yes. his nuts yes. from behind. Will Smith uh, is uh, naked in the beginning of the movie after bathing in a in a water tower. He which lives. Is not he appears to live in a water tower yeah, he, at the beginning of this movie. They're hanging out in this giant water tower in the middle of town. It's like a hot tub in the sky. Which, meanwhile, <laughs> is everyone else's drinking water, I would imagine. Yeah. No, so, no, it's for fires, isn't it? Oh, is it for fires? I okay. think so. I thought I was drinking water. All right, that that would be hey, just back <laughs> off, man. You're taking it into ridiculous uh, realm. We could put out, we could put out our fires with cum drenched water, but not put it in our mouths. <laughs> but yes, uh, Will Smith's balls may or may not have made oh, an appearance. Definitely. Well, there's a lot of ass in this movie yep. too. Salma Hayek's ass, ass Bai Ling's ass. Bai uh, Ling is. 